Well done. You've reached the end of this module on functions and closures. It's now time to take a moment to reflect on the key concepts you learned about. You began this module with a lesson on functions and learned how they are used to keep commonly used algorithms in one place so that they can be reused. You explored different examples to experience firsthand how they make your code cleaner and more efficient. You then moved on to learn about closures. You explored different examples that demonstrate how closures store functionality in constants and variables. Next, let's delve into what your newfound knowledge enables you to achieve. Having completed the lesson on functions, you should now be able to describe how functions are used to run the same set of stored code repeatedly without having to adjust the code every time. Demonstrate how functions are declared and structured with the use of parameters. Illustrate how to call or invoke a function with the use of parameters. And identify different function return types. With this new understanding of functions, you should also be able to explain how tuples are used in functions and list the main types of functions. Next, your completion on the closures lesson equipped you with a foundational understanding on how closures are used for data encapsulation where the implementation of the code is kept hidden, which you might recall is known as writing anonymous code. You should now be able to describe how closures are used as self-contained blocks of functionality that can be passed around and used in your code. Demonstrate how closures are declared and executed. Explain how to pass values to closures in the form of arguments. And explain how to use closures to return values. You should also be able to demonstrate how to use closures and function parameters to sort an array. As you completed this module, you also had the opportunity to practice what you've learned by completing the individual exercises for functions and closures. By practicing using functions and closures, you should now be able to understand how they can be applied to real-world scenarios. The self-review quizzes allowed you to reflect on the exercises, which helped you to reinforce what you have learned. Throughout your learning journey, you were introduced to several essential skills and concepts of programming in Swift. And as you continue to develop your skills and understanding, it's important to give yourself ample time to practice the different concepts you have been introduced to. You've come quite far and reached several milestones along the way. You have made great progress. Well done.